Hi guys, I'm Ovi and this is my kitchen. I've got fish fillet nugget recipe challenge today. So if you wanna know how to cook this, please stick around. Welcome to my new video. It's great to have you guys here again. If you are here for the first time, you're very welcome. This is a channel where we bring you bomb ass recipes, you know, every time, as, as often as we can. So guys, straight on to this video. I'm just filleting my fish. As you can see, it's basically deboning and removing the skin. So we're having boneless, skinless fillets, okay? Boneless, skinless, fillets, boneless, skinless, fillets, boneless, skinless. <laughs> I just invented the tongue twister, man. Okay, so this is simple. My marinade for fish nuggets is really simple. It's just a mix of black and red pepper and then some salt. You know, a little bit of water mm -hmm, to carry that spice around. Nothing intense, guys. It's really easy. Beginner can do this and put it off. Pull it off and you know you can impress your guests with this instead of serving them a I don't know dry fish how do you guys do your fish <laughs> guys so for the crust I'm going to be using cornflakes today po, po, po. hey I've done it <laughs> I was inspired by two things the first one being that I already have a recipe that contains breadcrumbs as crusting and I felt okay let me just try something else for you guys and the second one was that it's easier for you guys to get this done because if I say breadcrumbs now, you guys are not going to go and choose bread and yogurt. I know my people. So it was really easy using the cornflakes. All you need to do is just crush it a little bit. Alright, so this was 20 minutes later. I just brought my fish out of the marinade. As you can see, that soaked up a little bit of the water. And hey, water, Nigerian bee, water. <laughs> guys, we're just going to spice our flour lightly here and our egg and our cornflakes crushed ready for dipping 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 so as you guys know i love to crust my fish or chicken or meat i just like to have some crust on it you know it makes it much more inviting i mean you guys can serve this for your guests with fries with rice with salad as just nugget munchies you know you can have a lot of varieties i mean to whip up with this recipe yeah guys Ugh. they pick up the thing now <laughs> jesus <laughs> it's so fun watching this video even from my angle so i hope you guys enjoy it actually So here we have our beautifully crumbed fish fillet nuggets. Pop, 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 pop. I got it. <laughs> guys, over to the Alfredo dip. You guys, this is not the regular cheese for Alfredo balls. Like, I'm a lover of cheddar, and who says, I mean, just who says cheddar is not great? I made this sauce for my homemade instant mac and cheese. And I was like, let me just give it a try because I was really thinking of what I use that fish to eat. I wasn't ready for yam or anything. I just wanted to eat it like that. So I prepared a deep sauce. You guys would love this. So here the cheese is just going to emulsify everything and you're going to have one beautiful deep sauce. Guys, this see lip in gold. Let me just keep quiet because this sauce I have made it before, but this sauce I never knew it would go well with this fish. I've never made it with this fish. Like it was bomb. Okay, so here I'm just testing my oil for you guys to see when you have bubbles at the end of a wooden spoon when inserted in the oil, it's ready. <laughs> I fried my fish for 10 minutes. I fried for 10 minutes on medium heat and it was beautiful. You get a perfect crust with this conflicts, I'm telling you. Just try it. You can use it for your chicken, whatever. I mean, I've taught you guys a new method, a new way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I totally enjoyed filming it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and watch out for my next videos. Bye!